All right, all right. What's up, you guys? New Age here with some more Pokemon Showdown Ladder Sessions, and today is Sunday, so you know, hey. <laughs> all right. <laughs> But that means that up on Serebii, they got the Pokemon of the Week going again. And uh, this week's Pokemon of the Week is Primeape. So I was like, hey, I'm going to make a team around Primeape. Because that's going to be legit. Um, I'm actually pretty cool with this. I'm excited to use this team. Um, I did one test game with it. Uh, it's pretty cool. I didn't... I mean, the guy forfeited because, like, for whatever reason, he set up all his hazards. And then I got rid of them. Cause I was like, bro, what are you doing? I could clearly get rid of all your hazards. And then he like left. So, you know, it's chill, it's whatever. But the team seemed pretty bulky, um, had some decent switch ins. I didn't get to use Primeape that game, but you know, it's chill. Um, so yeah, I, I really like the team so far, but let's let's get down into it. So basically Cerebi, they're like, oh, Primeape fast, strong, everything else sucks. So, you know, that's what we're gonna do then. Uh, I decided on Choice Scarf set, um, up in NU, Choice Scarf Primate, I think is probably one of the fastest Choice Scarf Pokemon, so that's pretty cool, 95, not bad. Um, so we got the max speed, max attack, um, all these moves, all the good moves, close combat, earthquake, stone edge, the coverage, the U-turn to keep up that momentum. Uh, next up we got Lantern as kind of like a bulky pivot, oh my gosh, the train is so loud. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, the bulky pivot. Uh, also Volt Switch, so we can have some Volt Turn stuff going on with Primeape and Lantern, uh, potentially. Um, also as a Cleric for Heal Bell for the rest of our team and Toxic. Um, just for like other Lanterns and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I mean Lantern basically does its thing. Uh, I wanted a nice like Water Switch in as well. Um, because <clears throat> this team is kind of weak to water, other than my man Pharaoh Seed. So we got a nice uh, ha hazard setter. Really, I just have Stealth Rocks on this team. Um, but it's pretty nice for like Primeape. Um, nothing is immune to Stealth Rock, and Stealth Rock does break sturdy and uh, weaken flying types, things like that. So things that, you know, Primeape would appreciate. Um, so we got Stealth Rock, Knock Off for some switches, Leech Seed for uh, recovery, also helps us take on like water types and stuff. Um, and then Thunder Wave for good speed control. Um, also opposing Pharaoh Seeds, can't really touch this set. Uh, I also don't really have much for Pharaoh Seed on my team, so I basically have to knock it off and then try and like break it with uh, Primeape's Close Combat, something like that. Uh, I also do have Claydol on the team. Um, so I guess earth power, I don't know. I could kind of do some kind of damage to Pharaoh Seed. Uh, but I went with the, uh, offensive spinner set. I used it in one of my last teams in NU <clears throat> and it was pretty cool. I liked it. Um, the speed and the power and then having rapid spin on top of it if I need it. Um, and then Cobra Berry. So I'm not weak to dark, at least for that first hit. Um, but yeah, rapid spin, earth power, shadow ball, standard stuff, uh, max speed, max attack. Um, and then I wanted a sweeper for the team, a setup sweeper. Because basically um, what the team is supposed to do is set up sweep with pincer. And then whatever pincer doesn't sweep, Primeape comes in late game and cleans it up. So Primeape really is not supposed to come in um, until the end and just finish things up. But we got the SD Moldbreaker Lumberry. Moldbreaker helps with things like Weezing um, or Rotom things that like Primeape wouldn't be able to beat otherwise. Uh, then x Scizor for all the Psychic type Stone Edge for some flying, just the coverage, all that good stuff. Um, and then last, I got Skunk Tank, uh, not a Defog Skunk Tank because I, I don't know, I really don't like Defog um, as much as Rapid Spin, just because, uh, just because it gets rid of my hazards too, and I don't like playing a game where my hazards are gone, so. Um, Skunk Tank is basically just supposed to be a support, like, Pursuit Trapper. Like an offensive support Pokemon. Um, so, you know, it helps me, uh, get rid of, like, Psychic and Ghost types that Primeape wouldn't appreciate with Pursuit. And then we got Sucker Punch as well for the priority. Uh, Poison Jab to hit Fairies and stuff. That does well. And just another, like, non-dark move so I can have other options. Also helps me with, like, Psychic types. Aftermath to, like, damage other Pokemon. Um, and then Taunt for slower ones. Taunt worked out really well um, in my last game because I went up against a Masharna. 
Uh, it also helped, they had an Ariados with Sticky Web, so that was pretty cool uh, to taunt that, and Ariados couldn't really touch this set. Um, but it also works with Pharaoh Seed too, with the speed control. If I could slow him down, then, you know, use taunt, then really nothing could kind of set up on me. So, you know, I'm talking about the team like it's all this hot business and stuff and it's going to put in all this work. But we'll see what happens. So let's find some games and test it out. All right. So we got a game. Uh, one of the things, too, I want to say, um, since this is like Pokemon of the week and I'm trying to make a good team, like I'll change it if I need to. Um, I don't really know what I could change to begin with. Um, so this guy has a mess for it. That might be a little bit annoying. Also has a ride on, which my team might have trouble with depending on the set and a red ice i guess that shouldn't be too big of a problem uh choice scarf electivire with speed tie with primate as well but we have volt absorb grant he could have earthquake so you know uh i don't know what i want to lead with i don't really want to lead pharaoh seed and i feel like signal beam will do a lot to skunk tank i actually could have ran like av skunk tank or something that could have been cool i kind of want to lead lantern to be honest yeah, I'm gonna lead Lantern. He's he's gonna lead Charizard. Okay. Um, I don't want to Volt Switch either. I think I just want to go straight away for like Toxic. Um, as he goes Red Ice. All right, that works. Why would he go Red Ice? That's a little weird. Um. I don't really want to Volt Switch just because of Electivire. I want to know what this is. I mean, unless this is trying to like Rock Polish on me. Um, I mean, maybe we will bring in Primeape right away. I wanted to bring Vital Spirit Primeape. Um, let me do this calc real quick before I talk about that. Let's see. Primeape, Choice Scarf. Uh, close Combat does knock him out. I'm gonna Volt Switch. Because if he Rock Polishes, he's not gonna be faster than me still. Um, yeah, I'm gonna bring in Primeape and just fire off a Close Combat. This will knock him out. Um, as he does Toxic me, but we have Heal Bell, so we're chilling. Uh, this should do decent damage to anything. Um, I actually want a U turn. I think that's better. Uh, U turn out into maybe Skunk Tank. I'm gonna do that. I was expecting Mesprit, but this works too. If he goes Charizard. <clears throat> Him going Charizard. Let's see. I don't know. They're usually like... Yeah, I'm just going to go back into Lantern and go for Scald this time. Since his Regice is already gone. And if he wants to go Evire, I can have a chance to burn it. As we don't. So that's a little unfortunate. But no way in hell was I going to Volt Switch there. Unfortunately, like... Electivire is a tough Pokemon in this tier. Because Earthquake. Yeah, Earthquake can basically one shot me. I mean, I have Pharaoh Seed, I guess. I could try and go Claydol too and predict that. I can go Claydol into Pharaoh Seed. I'm going to try that. Hope he doesn't Ice Punch right off the bat. If he does, good play for him. No, he just goes for Earthquake. Um, I don't want him to have. Let's see. I want to see how much cross chop does. And you defensive. Earthquake doesn't do much. It doesn't show cross chop on this set. But I want to know how much it does. 50 is 60. That's a lot. And I can't really punish him either. How much does Ice Punch do to me? Uh, if he has it. Ice Punch does a lot, but doesn't knock me out. Earth Power actually knocks him out. Um, I'm going to go for this here because I really want to knock him out. Yeah. Electivire, Electivire was a problem, so I was it was worth taking that damage to me. Also, he doesn't have many hazards, if any, on his team. It looks like he might just have rocks. Um, as he for... Okay. Why are you leaving, bro? <laughs> um, yeah. Getting rid of Electivire there was awesome. After that, like... We were chill on his team. I could have just spam Volt Switch and U-Turn and basically won. Especially because his Red Ice was toxic. And even if he wanted to go right on, I have Scald for that. And he doesn't have a good Scald switch in. 
Also, Primeape's Choice Scarf is faster than plus one Vivalon. So even if it wanted to like set up on me, I could outspeed that. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I might change it to Defiant or um, Vital Spirit for now. I just feel like that's more beneficial. I don't know, especially because Primeape's supposed to come in late game, so it doesn't need the plus two. Like, it's supposed to come in after everything's already weakened. So, I don't think it needs the extra attack. I like Battle Spirit more for, say, like, I could switch into things like Vivalon and it can't put me to sleep, and then I could just go for a Stone Edge instead of, like, having to work around Pharaoh Seed and stuff, you know? It, it's it's just better that way. So, let's find another game. All right. Uh, Chadot. I don't know how well I do against Chadot. You can't Shell Smash Baton Pass. Um... I don't know if he has a spinner and a defogger or what. What's he what's his lead here? What's his lead on this team? I know people like to just lead chat out right off the bat. It'd be crazy. Uh, we actually outspeed Choice Scarf Chat out with Primate. But I don't really want to lead with that. Also he gets Heat Wave. Uh, I feel like Lantern should be a good lead. Hopefully. I really don't have good switches for Hitmonchan either. But I'm gonna lead Lantern, as he's gonna lead Vivalon. Um, I don't know if I want to risk him putting me to sleep. I also don't want him to have sub. Yeah, I'm gonna go Pharisee. The only reason I'm not going Primeape is because he might be Focus Sashed. So if he wants to sleep Powder, okay. Then I'm gonna Thunder Wave now. I think. Yeah, he doesn't have a Thunder Wave switch in. So unless... Oh my gosh. Please don't. Okay. Okay. Well, I need to get this Thunder Wave off. Please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so now... He could get paralyzed. He's going to be faster than me. I really need rocks up this game. But I also need to knock him off if he's... Sashed. I mean, he doesn't have a Volt Switch switch in, so I could always use that to... Yeah, I'm gonna Stealth Rock. Come on. Oh my gosh. Pharisee, come on, bro. I'm pretty sure... Okay, yeah, he's getting paralyzed like crazy, so that's awesome. Um, and I think... Yeah, I'm just gonna knock off. That's better. He actually misses Hurricane, so that's awesome. We're getting all kinds of lucky. So yeah, we do knock off his Focus Sash. Um, here, let's see, should I try and save this thing? Because Vivalon to Lantern, I don't really want to switch into attacks either. Energy Ball, hello? Well, Hurricane doesn't do that much, and will actually probably be faster than him. Hmm, I guess I'll save this thing. It could potentially do well later. I'm gonna go into Lantern and then Volt Switch into as he bug buzzes. Okay. Well we're still we should be faster. Um And we can volt switch into Primate. So I'm pretty sure he'll bug buzz again then, if that's the case. I actually do a decent amount. So as long as he mm, How much does Bug Buzz do to Primate? Uh, yeah, like half. That's not bad. Hmm. I mean, I don't even have to go Primeape at this point. Because he's so weak now. But. Yeah, I'll just go Primeape. I don't think he would Hurricane. Yeah, he goes for Bug Buzz. That does about the damage it's supposed to. Uh, how much does U turn do? 28 to 33. We have a good chance to knock it out. Oh wait, this is Choice Band, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. How much does Close Combat do? Not enough. So yeah, I have to go for Stone Edge here. I don't mind if he switches though. Yeah, he's better off leaving that to die. Well, because it would die to rocks if he switched it in again. But he could get rid of his hazards too. So at this point, 
Yeah, I don't know why he went into this. I'm faster in this, and it will die to Stone Edge. Yeah, <laughs> later. <laughs> that was like the worst switch in. If anything, his only switch is like him on Chan. I mean, he knows I'm Scarf now, so he's probably Scarf. Alright, what does this do? Oops. Why don't they have Choice Scarf as a set on the Calc? Okay, so Stone Edge does not do that much. Um, oh, this is going to be sketchy. If he Shell Smashes. I have Volt Absorb too, not Water Absorb. Hmm. This would be nice to go crazy with close combat later. I guess. Who should I go into? Kinda wanna hang on to that. Um hmm. What beats Hitmonchan though? I feel like if anything, one that I really don't need is Ferroseed. So, I'm gonna go out into that now. If he does Shell Smash, then... Oh, he actually goes Rain Down, so okay. Um, I'm not Thunder Wave here. I don't think he can knock me out. He's not boosted. Yeah, that was a crit. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we ate that. Alright, so we're gonna Thunder Wave him here, and I'm gonna Leech Seed. I don't know if he would switch into Ludicolo. Okay, cool. So we get the health here, and now I'm gonna knock off for sure. I don't know if he wants to go Ludicolo, but... I want to get rid of that thing's like life orb if he has it. He's gonna scald. Doesn't burn, so that's cool. Yeah, so Damp Rock is gone. I don't know if that affects the rain that's currently happening or what, but it's whatever. So he's firing off scald, so I can't really switch into anything here. Um, I like Volt Absorb over Water Absorb. Maybe not for this team. I really don't have a water switch in. Hmm. I might change it to Water Absorb. I like that better. Because then this thing really could not touch me. And he does finally get the burn here. I was just Thunder Waving again in case he decides to switch. Um, yeah, I'm going to change this right now to Water Absorb. Because my team is semi-weak to Water. And I can't just rely on Ferrisseed. Because it'll get worn down. Um, And I'm going to T-Wave again. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't care if he kept Scalding. Um, so here... The rain is up for two more turns. He's not life orb. So let's see, in the rain, I wanna know how much it does to pincer. Well, Hydro pump knocks me out. How much does skull do? Oh my gosh, skull can knock me out too. That's crazy. Okay, um, I think I'll just go skunk tank then. Maybe sucker punch. Actually, I mean, I should be faster. Pincer won't really do anything, though. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna go Gorbis and uh, Vol Switch. Or Gorbis Lantern and Vol Switch. I should be faster. Yeah, even if he Swift Swim, he's still paralyzed. I don't think the crit mattered either. Um, and here. Who should I go into? I don't know how much the Stealth Rocks matter anymore at this point. Because he's still got two turns of rain. Um, how fast is Ludicolo? With Swift Swim. Alright, if he's modest... Let me see. Need to do some math real quick. So... 239... He hits 47. Yeah, it's modest. Even if he's timid, I think. Yeah. Yeah, he still has speeds. Or wait. That's not with the scarf. Okay, he forfeits. Yeah, whatever. 475. I wanted to know if he outsped me. With, uh... Ludicola. 239 times 2. 47? Does he not outspeed me? Oh, yeah, he does. Just barely. That sucks. Good to know, though. But whatever. 
I didn't think he was going to win this game anyways. We still had like a whole team left. So we should have been fine there. Let's find another game. Alright, we got one. Um, and we got Water Absorb now. So legit. Um, I don't think this Gastrodon can even beat my Lantern. This thing might be iffy. And he's got a Rodom. That's cool. Who's he leading with? He has... His whole team is like leads. Um, hmm. I feel like Pharaoh Seed would be nice. I feel like this gets Fire Blast also. I kind of really want to lead like Skunk Tank too for some reason. Um, I feel like Pharaoh Seed would be good. He's gonna lead Rotom, so I can't paralyze it. That's annoying. Um, huh? <laughs> Pharaoh Seed stats. Did I get up rocks? I don't think now's the time. Oh, and we don't have Volt Absorb, so we could Volt Switch on us. And Claydol does outspeed. Hmm. Uh, I don't really want to go hard in Skunk Tank, because I don't think he's going to Volt Switch. I think I just want to knock off. I don't really care if he burns me. Yeah, I'm just going to knock off. Okay, so he's going to Volt Switch, so that's cool. I am fine with this. Because I didn't care if Pharisee got burned, and I didn't want to switch anything into a burn either. So we're going to knock off his Rocky Helmet, and then from here, we are going to Thunder Wave. As he's just going to get up his rocks, so that's paralyzed, and now we can get up our rocks too. For sure, for sure. Rock Slide. Hello? I mean, honestly, I can't touch this thing. I don't have a way of recovering against it or anything, so. Um, hmm. Uh, no, I can't go Lantern. I don't really have a good switch. I guess Claydol. But if he goes for a grass move. Let me see how much damage I can do to him. Claydol versus Cradilly Spadef. Oh my gosh, we do nothing to this thing. Chill fam. Oh, I have this on the wrong account too. Whoops. Um, hmm. I think I could go Prime Ape, honestly. And U turn. I'll try that out. Because Rock Slide shouldn't do that much. It's gonna Stealth Rock again? Why? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, oops. Yeah. What? Got you. Alright, I'm a U turn here. Um, if he goes to Rotom. Yep, okay. And now I get to go into Skunk Tank. I like it. Um, I can pursue here, I think. Like, if he wants to burn me, it's not going to do anything. I could also taunt. Because then he can't burn me. Hmm. Should I sucker? I mean, I feel like he's just gonna bull switch. If I think that though, I should sucker punch. Taunt is my best play. Because if he wants to will o wisp, which he actually misses, so that's unfortunate. Um, so now I have to decide if he wants to volt switch or just hard switch out. Uh, if that's the case, I think I wanna pursue. I don't think he should volt switch because he should know I have sucker punch, so I'm gonna pursue. What? He thought Stealth Rock was like spikes. So he actually does Volt Switch. I don't know why. I have Sucker Punch, yo. Oh, okay. Volt Switch still works. Cool. Rodham's gone. So now he has no close combat switch in. And nothing that can burn me. And I should be faster in this. Yeah, I am. What does Garbodor get? Gar Garbodor. Offensive Spiker. Yeah, this set should not be able to touch me. I'm gonna taunt. What? Why is he faster? Hello? Oh, that's my max speed, but that's not my actual speed. Um, so, I'm gonna switch into Claydol now. I think. Yeah, I shouldn't be able to touch me. For the most part, anyways. Um, as he's gonna Drain Punch, and I'm gonna Rapid Spin now. 
because he doesn't have a spin blocker anymore, and I can get rid of these hazards. Hey! Oh my gosh, that kind of did a lot, and he poisoned me. Yeah, so I'm just going to switch out here. Rocky Helmet, hello? Oh my gosh. The damage. Uh... Garbodor. I think he's more defensive. Claydol. Gunk shot 22 to 26. I don't know. Oh, well. Sorry about that. Alright, he's definitely... Offensive then. Yeah. So Earth Power can knock him out. 273. What? Is this really a speed tie? I'm going for it. A Got the speed tie. It didn't knock him out, but that's okay. Uh, we could come in now. And let's see what do I want to do. So Lantern's not going to be faster. I think he's max speed. Um, I think I might just go Pinsir and Earthquake, possibly. I kind of like that better. I don't want him to get up hazards again. On the other hand, I could U-turn. Take Aftermath. But that's whatever. Yeah, your turn knocks him out. Okay, as he leaves. What? What's wrong with these people? He's being impatient and he's just gonna lose anyways. Because that died, and honestly, the majority of his team went down to close combat at that point. All these people keep leaving. What's wrong with them? And I'm on the wrong account. I'm gonna switch. Alright, so we got ourselves another game. Hopefully, these people will stop leaving. I mean, we would have won all those battles anyways, but still. It's nice to actually see the end. I don't think we've had like the end of a battle for this whole episode, which is kind of annoying. Um, does he have a lead Pokemon here? The Sandslash, I guess. Sandslash can't touch me unless it knocks off. Hmm. Sandslash is kind of an annoying lead, actually. And I don't know if I want to let my Evil Light like, get knocked off. I kind of want to just lead Claydol. What can Sandslash do? Sandslash versus Claydol. Is he even leading with Claydol? I don't know. Earth Power is a 2 at KO. Knockoff won't do much, so I'm gonna go for that. Yeah, as he does lead Sandslash, so that's cool. Um, do I have any other moves I could go for? Wherever spins, Shadow Ball, Sash Shock. Now, Earth Power, for whatever reason, does the most. Um, as that's not a 2 at KO. As he crits me, okay. With Knockoff. He's bulky. Hello? Uh, that's annoying. I mean, he shouldn't be hitting that hard then, if that's the case. I'm gonna Earth Power again. I know. I deserve a crit. I don't think Rapid Spin will kill. I'm gonna Rapid Spin, though. Because I think two Rapid Spins should hopefully knock him out. I don't know. He has leftovers. Actually, I'm faster. I should just, like, Psy Shock or something. Yeah, I'm just gonna Psy Shock. That should knock him out. Especially if he's like Spadef Sand Slash. And I want to go Psy Shock in case he switched. So that's cool. He's gonna go Swallow. Um, and I really just want to go Pharaoh Seed now. Yeah, I like that. I don't think he sh Yeah, I mean, he's just taking more damage. So he's gonna get a switch into uh, like uh, Magmortar here if he really wants to. Or maybe even Zangoose, which would be scary. Okay, yeah, he goes Magmortar. I prefer that. Um, I don't know what I can do. See, I keep regretting it, like, every time. Like, changing Lantern now, because if I was, uh... I mean, he gets HP Grass, but... Hmm. If he's Assault Vest, he can't do that much. If he's Wall Breaker... Oh my gosh, he could kind of do a lot. And Fire Blast won't do much to me. Hmm. And then he has his own Lantern too. That's annoying. Uh, what do I have for this thing? Alright, well I'm going to go Lantern here. Um, as he does predict, go for the HP Grass. So he's Assault Vest based off that damage. Um, Troy Scarf. I can almost knock him out. I really need rocks up then. That would have been a good time to go for rocks, I guess. Um, I'm gonna go for a toxic here. Predicting, okay, he goes lantern, or sorry, sand slash. I was 
trying to predict his lantern. Um, what I really want to do is go Pharaoh Seed and get up my rocks. I need that because that puts uh, Magmortar in range of uh, of Earthquake from Primate. So that needs to happen. Also, is he like... Oh, he might be Rapid Spin Sand Slash. Right, right. I was like, how does he get rid of hazards? I mean, the Sand Slash is about to go down here. Honestly, a potential smart play would be just going into Magmortar from here. But, yeah, I really don't have good fire switch ins. That is a thing on this team. For sure. Especially Magmortar, that gets so much coverage. I mean, Magmortar maybe couldn't hit Claydol, but I'm offensive, so. Yeah, Fire Blast does up to half. And it carries HP Grass, so. And is faster. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Alright, so he's just gonna die from here. Um, I don't know how much I need Pharaoh Seed anymore. Because a lot of his team really just kind of works me. So. Alright, so I'll probably just let him kill me here. Um, I'm going to go for Thunder Wave just in case he tries to predict again. Nope. And that's fine. Because now he is in range of Earthquake. And I am definitely going into that. Um, and if he wants to switch Swallow, that's fine. He's almost dead anyways. He won't be able to switch in again. Yeah, so it should knock him out. There you go. So Magmortar's gone. Nice. I really don't know why he stayed in there. Because even normal Primate outspeeds Magmortar. So potentially one of his biggest threats gone. Um, and I really don't know what he wants to do here. How much do I need Lantern? I really don't think I need Lantern now. I'm just going to go out into that, maybe sack it, um, and hopefully be able to beat the rest of his team. His Zangoose is a little bit scary, but I should be able to outspeed it. Um, I really want to get rid of Rocks if I can. I'm saving Claydol because I could potentially hit uh, File Plume. File Plume's pretty slow. Yeah, so I'm going to go Lantern here. If he wants to like Brave Bird or something. Oh, he's special. Okay. Um. Well, I'm just going to Bolt Switch. I mean, he could knock me out, yeah, but... Let's see, Primeape to... Swellow. Choice Specs. Boom Burst would knock me out. Uh, let's see. If he's Scarf... If he's Scarf, it doesn't knock me out. And if he's Specs, he doesn't outspeed me. I actually want to go skunk, uh, skunk Tank, though, and just Poison Jab. Or Sucker Punch, I mean. Yeah, I feel like that's my best play right now. If he wants to switch, it doesn't matter because this dies on switching, so. Switch all you like. Because otherwise, this thing just dies. I mean, it, it dies either way, so. Whatever he wants to do. If he wants to switch, I take no damage anyway, so. Come on with the come on. There you go. Uh, Primeape could potentially clean up later. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Because this thing needs to be gone. Um, I think I want to taunt here. Oh, what? What does this even do to me? Skunk Tank. Fierce is... Vileplum? Defensive? Sludge Bomb. Uh, I could do decent damage to him, it seems. This is adamant. Am I adamant? Uh, I am. Ooh. Alright, I'm gonna taunt. What? Why would you switch? What were you expecting? <laughs> Alright, well, you are taunted, my friend. Um, skunk tank to lantern. I don't think I could. Oh, I can actually do a decent amount to this. Skull does a decent amount back, though, so. I don't know how I feel about this. But Poison Jab can do a pretty decent amount. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. And I could poison him, too, which I do. Alright. So he does get the burn, but we are Lumberry, so we're chilling. Um, 
This almost puts him at range of going down, so I'm just gonna go for another poison jab. I'd appreciate if he didn't burn me, but it's whatever. Okay, he actually doesn't, so that's awesome. Uh, taunt ended, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna poison jab again, because if he wants to switch, he'll go down to rocks plus poison, so... Uh, he's gonna go Zangoose now. I have to poison jab, hoping that he doesn't SD. I can't let him Swords Dance for free. 100%. And Poison Jab does a lot, so yeah, I'm going for that. As he goes for Quick Attack, that was probably like the worst play. That doesn't even knock me out. Uh, he is faster than me, so... I mean, honestly, yeah, okay, yeah, he, he lost that game for sure. There's no way his Wild Plume was going to beat my uh, Pinsir, especially because I was Lumberry. And, uh, I mean, Primeape didn't really have anything to touch. Yeah, Earthquake, so. But Claydol would have been faster anyways. And Claydol, offensive Claydol, I'm pretty sure knocks out uh, Vileplume. I'm going to check. It does half. But, yeah. It was already going to come in at, like, 75. So doing, like, 50%. Yeah, there, there's just no way his Vileplume would have lived through the onslaught of the rest of my team uh so let's see let's see how much time we got all right let's find one more game i swear everyone's just rage quitting like crazy but we'll get one last game and we'll call it a day a successful pokemon of the week all right we got one last game uh they also have a prime ape a they know what's up uh and a jank they're they have a really similar team uh to my build uh, Lantern does the same job, Primeape. Um, Jinx is replacing Pinsir for my team. Um, Scyther, I don't know. I don't know why Scyther is there. He has like a, this is just like super offensive team. Um, hmm. Who do I want to lead with? Because I know Signal Beam from an offensive Mesprit can do a lot. Um, so I think I want to lead Primeape and just U-turn straight off into something like Skunk Tank. As he's actually going to lead Scyther. Um, unless he's Scarf, he shouldn't be able to outspeed me. I actually want to see, <laughs> I actually want to see how much damage I do to him. Why did he lead Scyther? That's interesting. Uh, and you Choice Scarf is also a thing, so that's a little... <laughs> Uh, we have a chance to knock him out, but it's not guaranteed, and he knocks us out with Aerial Ace, so. And I actually want to see Choice Scarf damage. Aerial Ace also knocks me out, so. Uh, I think I'm just going to go straight into Pharaoh Seed. I don't want to risk him being Scarfed, as he doubles into Mesprit. Okay. I mean, I'm fine with this now. Um, he definitely could have Taunt, but I'm going to Thunder Wave anyways. Because this thing is kind of an issue. I always have an issue with Mesprit. I mean, I have Skunk Tank, but... Mesprit doesn't get Fire Blast, does it? Yeah, okay. Not typically. Doesn't typically run that. Um, so, he actually goes into Jinx. So, that's cool. Um, this could have Focus Blast. I guess. Or Trick? I don't know. <laughs> Jinx versus Pharaseed. Uh, Focus Blast doesn't knock me out. How much does knockoff do? Gyro Ball does a lot. And that's not even with the Life Orb. Oh my gosh. Um, I kind of really want to get up rocks though. Because I could always switch after. Yeah, I'm going to get up rocks. I see lovely kisses. Okay. And he was faster. That's annoying. That's actually annoying. What? What is this thing? Mm. Ugh. Alright, what do I do here? I'm gonna go Skunk Tank. Okay. As he goes Primeape, which... Actually, yeah, this... This thing is a threat. 
Skunk Tank. I don't have I don't have switches for Skunk Tank. Why? Uh, Earthquake does knock me out if he is scarfed. If he is banded, that can knock me out. I would hope he would just U-turn, honestly. Like, that's what you're supposed to do with this set. If he wants to lock himself into something, then I just get a switch. How much does Sucker Punch do? 30 to 36? I'll take that damage. And U-turn does a decent amount, but... He had better U-turn. He went for close combat? Okay. Okay, calm down. So he's minus one defense now. Uh, I still don't knock him out with Sucker Punch. What's up with this dude? Um, hmm. How much does Pincer take? Pincer does not take much. And he doesn't really have a switch for this. And Pincer takes like 30%. It's kind of a little more than I would prefer. How much does Clay all take? Offensive spinner. So if he's locked into, yeah, so 30, it, they both take 30. So it's whoever I want to take damage. Um, I guess Claydol. As he doubles into Skunk Tank. That's unfortunate and good on his part. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Earth Power can do a lot, but it doesn't knock him out. With Culber Berry, nothing he has knocks me out. I think I'll go for Earth Power, though. I'm cool with this damage. As he goes Mesprit, what? Why is that a... I guess that's a switch if he knows I'm staying in. Um, I'm going Pharisee. Yo, this guy likes to switch. Yeah, take that damage. Take all of it. <laughs> uh, it's so annoying that I got put to sleep. He's gonna go Prime Ape. Oh, uh, is he teaching me the ways of using, of using a uh, primate? All right, I'm gonna try and wake up. He, why does he keep going for close combat? Can I get a wake up like first turn, like a boss? Nope. Okay. Why does he keep locking himself into close combat? Oh my gosh, I did not mean to click primate. Okay, well that's cool. That was totally my bad. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> All right, well, Prime Ape is gone forever. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go Claydol, and I'm gonna Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball should be chill. Yeah. If he wants to go Mess Spirit, fine. Oh my gosh, that does nothing. Ooh, but Death Drop though, as he's not Life Orb, so I think I want to stay in and Shadow Ball. And I'll take this damage. Getting rid of Mess Spirit would be nice. Oh my gosh, and he crits me. Why is this dude getting so lucky? I don't even care. Yeah, I, I can't win this game now. I'm not getting up any hazards. Everything's dying. I'm just gonna go Pharisee. Doesn't matter. Yeah, we're dead. Damn, that did a lot. What? Skither? Sk Skither? Are you banded? Ooh, Bandit Skither. Oh, maybe not. 19 and 23. Oh, okay, yeah, never mind. He didn't have to be Bandit. Bandit Skither? Okay, uh, well, Pinsir outspeeds and knocks you out, so... I think I can easily fire off, like, a Stone Edge or something on this man. Stone Edge is probably best. Because I'm Mold Breaker. Break the Mold! So I can easily go for Earthquake. So his real only switch is like Scyther right here. Okay, so he stays in, lets it die. I, I'm like a hundred percent sure I can't win, but I'm still trying. Why? I mean, maybe if I set up with Pinsir, but I don't think it's happening. Um, let's see. Pinsir versus. Skunk tank. Earthquake knocks him out, so I mean we take those. Oh my gosh, he's defensive. As he crit pursuits me. Can you stop critting me, bro? Like maybe? Okay, that did nothing. So this man is hecka defensive. Skunk tank. 
But there's like no set where Pinsir doesn't knock him out. Oh, there's Life Orb. Okay, well. Hmm. Should I go Stone Edge? I'm gonna Stone Edge. Okay, he's gonna Sucker Punch. Cool. Can I kill him? Thank you. Alright, so we got rid of two Mons. I don't think it matters. I don't think I could beat Jinx. That's, that's my problem. And he can put something to sleep again. Which is also annoying. Me! <laughs> okay, so he's gonna go Skither here. Um, I don't even know what I'd do. I don't think I could beat uh, Primeape either. He's definitely faster. I feel like I need Claydol too. Why is Scyther so strong? I think he's Scarf Scyther. And maybe Banded? I don't know. Alright, um, I'm just gonna go Lantern, I guess. He's gonna U-turn. What? Okay. Yeah, he's definitely Banded. Get out of here. What? <laughs> That's okay. That misclick with Primeape really sucked. Because I could be firing off Stone Edges now. Like, Primate probably dies to Stone Edge. Jinx and Scyther die to Stone Edge. And that just leaves Lantern. I'm gonna Toxic you. Ah! Oh, dang! Oh, Jinx of Paralysis. That's what he wanted. Dang, I just got predicted. Predicted! I'm gonna Toxic again. Hey, thank you! Damn straight. I'm water absorbed, friend. Now I'm gonna go clay doll like a boss. <laughs> Flex on him. <laughs> Damn. Get destroyed. All right. Um. Let me see how much I can do with clay doll. Okay. Okay. Psy shock does the most damage. I gotta predict Skither if I want to win this. I'm a side shock. Why would you? St I mean, he could easily stay in and scald, but I want I want to try and be a big boy, you know. All right, so Lantern's getting worn down, which is pretty cool. Um, I still I don't know how I can go about winning this. Um, I'm gonna go Pincer here and go for Stone Edge. I just have to constantly try and predict his Skither to come in. So you know, maybe he wants to flex on me too. Alright, well, Lantern is basically dead, because I don't speed it. Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I can't win now. Uh, he's going to go Primeape. As he's got up Earthquake as well. I think Earthquake just knocks out everything. I also think he's banded Primeape, not Scarfed. But it don't matter. Let's see. Uh, Skunk Tank. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Versus Primeape. Sucker Punch. Can you kill with the crit? Yeah. <laughs> the highest roll with the crit knocks him out. Whereas Lantern. Uh, most of the time dies to Earthquake. Granted, I can kill him with Scald. But I don't think that matters. Because Earthquake does. For one, it's a roll to knock me out. Two, it does so much that I can't do anything else to the rest of his team. So let's go for a crit max roll. Sucker Punch. Oh! Didn't get it. Oh, Aftermath. Like a champ. Alright, so we got Lantern up in here. Um. I mean, I already saw the damage that U-Turn does, so... As... He's... He's gonna win this, because all he has to do is, uh... U-Turn, pivot into Lantern. Um... Yeah. I'm just gonna Toxic. U-Turn, pivot into Lantern, let it die, and then U-Turn again. So, yep. And I wasn't going to go for like a uh, water move or anything, 
because I didn't want him to, uh, I don't know if he's Volt Absorb or Water Absorb, so. Um, I'm assuming he is Volt Absorb because he thought I was Volt Absorb, so I'm gonna Scald. Yeah. Um, now he goes Skither again, and I Volt Switch. I mean, he, he has won this one, so it's GG. Not bad. See, now losing, <laughs> misclicking with the Primeape there sucked because imagine if this was all he had left and I had Primeape. Like, I click Stone Edge twice and win. Um, because I know now from that damage, he's he was for sure banned inside there. So, I don't know what possessed me to misclick like that, but it's chill. It's whatever. It was still a fun game. And I actually really liked this team. So, that was pretty cool. Um, so, once again... Uh, the link down below for the Pokemon of the Week post from Serebii, if you guys are interested in checking it out, will be down below in the description. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, share, comment, all that good stuff. And until then, I'm New Age Steel. Keep on watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.